how powerful you are. There's no one like you, Lord. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. You're the most high God. You are the highest. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. It's our cry, God, here, and you say now. You deliver. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Woo! Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. You are the most high God. You are the Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. You are the most high God. You are the highest. Come on, it's good for your soul. It's good for your worshiping heart. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. You are the most high God. You are the highest. Yeah, we sing Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna, you are the most high God, you are the highest, you are the most high God, you are the highest, you are the most high God, you are, you guys, I can't help but thinking about the psalm that says, um, Oh, you worship the idols that are made by human hands. How foolish. How stupid. Oh, I see. The idols that you bow down to and you worship, they have eyes, but they cannot see. Not sure what good that is to anybody. They have noses, but they cannot smell. They have ears, but they cannot hear. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. You see, we serve the Most High God. Whatever else is out there, it's a million miles below our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. One more time. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. God, come and help and save right now. You are the most high God. You are the highest. Yeah, yeah. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hear our cry and hear our prayer and hear our song today. You are the most high God. You are the highest. This is a spontaneous song. Out of my heart to the Lord and to you guys. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Yeah, Hosanna, Hosanna. I know that you hear our cry, Lord. 
the afflicted, those that need deliverance. You deliver them A-L-L all because you're the most high God. Very clear in the book of Psalms, you hear our cry, Lord. Oh, let them say. Hosanna, Hosanna over our nation, over all 50 states, Lord, we cry, over every tribe, tongue, and dialect, that they might come into the kingdom of priests, into the royal priesthood, their singers, and all the nations, they don't know you yet, Lord, and we're crying, Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. You are the most high God. You are the so good my heart is lifted in it Hosanna Hosanna straight line be line to you before your throne and before your face Lord we have humbled ourselves in the sight of the Lord we cry Hosanna over our nation all 50 states Washington DC clean house Lord clean it up we ask you for righteous spiritual governor's oversight for every man and woman who even pretends to be a politician, Lord. This word that you gave me in prayer, we ask you for righteous spiritual governor's oversight and conviction to fall on every politician in America. In the name of Jesus, it's our prayer, Lord. It's our prayer. Righteous, spiritual, governor's oversight, Lord. We want your governor's oversight. We need to have righteous men and women in our government that will take a stand for your glory. They're going to take a stand for true, righteous, spiritual governor's overview. It's a prophetic phrase prophetic word from the Lord it's something to pray accurately in Jesus name I'll say it again four words you can write them down make it plain pray it we ask you father God in Jesus name for righteous spiritual true governors oversight governors Many years ago, the Lord says, well, Ken, I'm going to show you the difference between the long view and the overview. I was going, what? I'm going to show you the difference between the long view and the overview. I said, Lord, aren't those the same thing? And he said, well, people that have been serving as governors, you can't be a governor in any state of the United States of America. The minimum age is 35. Why can't you be a governor when you're 25? Because you don't have enough experience, life experience. You don't have enough history to know how to, to reign or to rule righteously. I'm pretty sure there might be one state that's 34, but think about this. You can't be a state governor until you're like 35 are so old, older that you have life experience and you have 2020 hindsight looking back. So he said, the overview is just for maybe four to six months, but the long view is what the governor needs. He needs to look at three to five years. I went, okay, there's a big difference between the long view and the overview. The overview is shorter. It's for this, the current time of two, three, five months. It's, it's my definition, but the long view is somebody that's been alive 35, 45, 55 years. They have the long view and they have wisdom. They have discernment. 
it's for something for today. This was not on my grid before I got on this stream. And so we're going to pray. Overview is good, but that's, again, just maybe for three weeks to three months or whatever, get an overview. But he said the long view is what the governor, male or female, they need the long view. And part of that is history, that you're alive long enough to have the long view, not just the overview. It's a prayer point. So, Lord, we're asking you for the righteous spiritual governors discernment and long view righteous spiritual governors understanding from your eyesight to ours Lord that every day that we rule and reign on this earth righteously because of who you are Hosanna 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 in the highest. Hosanna. Hosanna. Governor's long view. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna in the high Governor's long view, Lord Hosanna 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 in the high I see the King of glory He's coming on the clouds Yeah I see the King of glory coming on the clouds with fire the whole earth wow the whole earth shakes the whole earth shakes I see your love and mercy washing over all our sins and the people the people sing you guys check it the people sing the people are singing all over the world and Hosanna 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 in the God, you say, you heal and deliver right now. Oh, Lord, you say to the uttermost, to the uttermost, yeah. Oh, Lord, you say, oh, Lord, you heal and deliver. Hosanna, we cry, we pray. What do we do? We cry, we pray. help and you save and rescue oh God to the uttermost you say to the uttermost yeah it's an old King James phrase he saves to the uttermost <laughs> I love that you kidding me no here we go yeah oh Lord you say Heal and deliver. You hear our cry. You hear our prayer. Ooh. Oh God, you say. You heal and deliver. For the glory of the Lord. For the glory. Cabra Nazel 
generation generations do you see generations rising up to take their place in revival I see a generation of Millennials let's go after the Millennials rising up to take their place with selfless faith oh that's such a great phrase selfless faith see a near revival. What do you see, Ken? Uh -oh. I see a near revival. I see a near revival. Sweden, England, Canada needs a sweeping revival of the Spirit of the Lord, the hand of the Lord sweeping through Mexico, a near revival, Lord, we're on the verge. Hosanna, Hosanna, we sing Hosanna over Sweden, over England, over Canada and Mexico, yeah, Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the high. Hosanna in the high. Hosanna in the high. Hosanna. for weeks sometimes I wake up singing I wake up singing it <laughs> I wake up as well <laughs> I do it all I've been doing it for a couple of weeks Jaira you are enough Jaira you are enough circumstance because you're Jireh you are enough Jehovah Jireh you are enough Jireh you are enough and I will be content Stands by God, Jehovah Jireh. You are enough, forever enough, always enough. You 
actually like two tags or two bridges but this when I heard it I was in the store singing the other day and said I, I, I'm already loved I'm already chosen I know who I am I know what you've spoken Lord I'm already loved more than I can imagine Surely is. 
is more than enough. second part of chapter 5 of Ephesians. Super mind-blowing for me because as a worshiping psalmist, Paul said, here's what I want you to do. I want you to speak to each other in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, spontaneous songs. I went, wow, that's my life. That's my gift and it's my life's calling. Why don't you guys lift each other up in the Word of God by speaking to one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs? I went, okay, we can do that. So it's quite a day today, verses 15 through 32. Get your Bible open, get your media device, put your little peepers right on the Word of God. Take your tender, loving eyes of the, of the Lord as you love him, and let's go into the word today. The title is Be Filled Continually with the Holy Spirit. Sounds good. Let your hearts overflow with joyful songs to the Lord. Psalms, hymns, and spontaneous songs of the Holy Spirit. Wow, that's why in our first church back in the day, our youth group went from 75 kids to over at least 1,500 every Saturday night. Our adult church went from 300 to 3,000 because of that, because we sang the Word of God 1974, 75, and 76 for a three-year run. We were doing psalms, hymns, scripture songs and then spontaneous holy spirit songs songs of the moment you, you just kind of wrote them on the fly they were choruses and stuff and that's why this chapter is so very powerful for me personally so when we're filled with the spirit we have an immediate desire to worship god somebody say amen on the chat we say it again when we're filled with the Holy Spirit we have a desire to immediate desire to worship God we now have a heart of worship check it we have what we have a heart of worship because of our Thanksgiving and joy we have such Thanksgiving because of his great salvation now we know the Lord personally this is our intro into the second part of Ephesians 5 because of our heart of thanksgiving and joy for his great salvation. And we, we just can't get over knowing the Lord personally. We know Jesus like the disciples know, knew him in a sense. The connection with being filled with the Holy Spirit and praise with worship is very, very significant because the Holy Spirit is helping us to worship, to have revelation of the greatness of our God. And so right in verses 17, and, excuse me, 19 and 20, right in the middle of the chapter, there it is, a huge revelation, psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. And your hearts will overflow with what joyful songs to the Lord, Passion Translation. So keep, keep speaking to one another with the words of Scripture. And this is how I want you to do it. He gave a command, Paul's writing to the Ephesians. So I want you to keep speaking to one another whenever you see each other on the street, in the services, wherever you meet. Speak to each other with the words of Scripture by doing this. Put them in Psalms. Put them in hymns. 
and sing spiritual spontaneous songs with praise songs given by the Holy Spirit. So powerful. And by the way, verse 20, give thanks to God the Father every day through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the anointed one, for everything that he's done. So check this out. Listen closely. Children, God delights in creative, spontaneous worship. So that Lucifer, the fallen angel, Satan, the devil, would do anything to convolute American church services to be all about people and not about the Lord. Somebody said, Kent, why is it different when you lead worship? I said, first of all, Rick Renee, a year and a half, goes, Kent, what kind of worship do you do? And I, I couldn't believe it came out of my mouth. I said, presence-based, not personality-driven or performance-driven. Hey, now, is there a difference? Oh, there's m many of you in this dream know the difference. Oh, my God. Presence-based worship is not personality-driven worship or performance worship. You, you can't do that. You're not all that uh, powerful anyway without the anointing. <laughs> so I don't want to get off on a tangent. He has given and generated spontaneous songs that will flow right out of our heart. And I love this last thing from the Enduring Word commentary. Many who can't sing a beautiful melody with their voice have beautiful melodies in their heart. Oh, my God. That is so right. I have people say, oh, Kent, you don't want me to sing next to you. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, I do. I don't, it, he's watching, he's hearing your worshiping heart. I mean, I've seen people do uh, like offering songs and dude, it wasn't that anointed. It was really about them and they're in front of people and then they're absorbing all that and whatever. But man, think about people that don't have a really good singing voice and yet they just beller it out. Thank you, I love that. <laughs> I was sitting next to my good friend, Tom Kelp <laughs> at Gateway 60. And this guy's got a deep voice. He started singing, man. It was something. it was even deeper. I said, go ahead, Tom. I'm riding on the wave. <laughs> I did. I said, Lord, I'm right. Put it out there, bro. I I'm catching up, Tom. Keep going. He, there's no way you'd give him. He says, you can't give me a mic. People would leave the building. <laughs> he said, that's not true. But isn't this great? Many who can't sing a beautiful melody with their earthly voice have powerful, beautiful melodies in their heart. So give thanks always for all things to God. A complaining heart and the Holy Spirit just don't go together. Carla's praying us in, and here we go, Colossians 5. So why do you think I gave birth to three kids that could sing? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Help us, Lord. We need help. That's one of the first worship choruses that I learned, actually. Be not drunk with wine, we're in his excess. But be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. And that was definitely a song of the 70s. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> we did that a lot, though, at New Covenant. <clears throat> Father, help us to be continually filled with your Holy Spirit. Filled to overflowing, God being led by your Holy Spirit every day in, in everything that we do. Because those that are led by the Spirit of God are your sons and daughters. And that's what we want to identify as on this earth more than anything. We want to identify as your sons and your daughters, being led by your Holy Spirit, doing your works in this earth, fulfilling your promises in this Hallelujah. earth, being your hands and your feet, in your mouth, in your heart. Help us to see that today again as we enter into your word. And go to Ephesians 5, verse 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So be careful how you act. These are difficult days. 
Don't be fools. Be wise. Make the most of every opportunity you have for doing good. So be very careful how you live, not being like those with no understanding, but live honorably with true wisdom. For we are living in evil times. Take full advantage of every day as you spend your life for his purposes. Or as someone once says, the world isn't reading their Bibles, they're reading their Christians. Verse 17, therefore, don't be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is, and do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit. And point out to us, God, whatever those things are that we do to anesthetize ourselves, whether it be alcohol, drugs, whether it be just vegetating in front of a television or wasting time on video games. Open our eyes to see where we, the times that we need to redeem here because the days truly are evil. Verse 17 in, in, in the... Phillips. Phillips. Don't get your stimulus from wine, wow. for there is always danger in excessive drinking. But drink deeply of the Holy Spirit. Yes. But ever be filled with the Spirit. Let the Spirit stimulate your souls. And don't live foolishly, for then you will have discernment to fully understand God's will. And don't get drunk with wine, which is rebellion, reckless living. Instead, be filled continually with the Holy Spirit. Be inebriated in the Spirit's fullness overflowing with the Holy Spirit's fullness. The one that Carla was reading, Phillips and the Weymouth, says this. Drink deeply. Drink deeply of the Holy Spirit. Be ever filled, yeah. Drink deeply. Drink deeply of the Holy Spirit, yeah. We wait for you. Sometimes we quiet our heart and we wait for you. Taking lingering times, Lord, drinking deeply, drinking deeply of your Holy Spirit. Be ever filled. Filled with the Spirit of God. Be ever filled with the Spirit of God. Yeah. Verses 19 and 20 and 21. Speaking to one another in Psalms. They knew some of the Psalms back then, even in the New Testament. Some of them are 3,000 to 3,400 years old, the Psalms. So they knew what a Psalm was speaking to one another in Psalms. And they had hymns worshiping the risen Savior, Jesus Christ. And they were doing spiritual songs. There were spontaneous spiritual songs that would come to them by the Holy Spirit. And they would sing them as a congregation before heaven. Could you say it again? Can't, yes, I can. They were doing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. There were spontaneous songs the Holy Spirit would give their worship leader, their singer, their main singer. Bible studies, it could be 10 at somebody's house. You know, it could be some of their gathering of 80 to 100 people singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. This alone would cause a super lift in the American church if we just allow this to start happening again at a higher level. Verse 20, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father. The word all is in there, A-L-L. -L. 
giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the kicker is submitting to one another in the fear, the reverence of God. Submitting to one another in the fear of God. Wow. The voice translation says, when you're filled with the Spirit, you're empowered to speak to each other in the words of pious songs, hymns, and spiritual songs to sing and make music with your hearts attuned to God. Check this out, guys. You're singing and making music with your hearts attuned to the living God. Oh, man, come on. Those with a gift of music, gift of melody, they can sing spontaneous songs that will blow your mind. It's a song of the moment. It's a song of the Holy Spirit in that slot right there to bless people and to send them a message, almost like the prophetic singing. And give thanks to God the Father every day, every day through the name of our Lord Jesus, the Anointed One, for all he's done. Then the Amplified. And be filled with the Holy Spirit and constantly guided by him. Let's not forget this, why Jesus sent him in his place. Constantly guided by the Holy Spirit. The faceless man is our friend, Carla. Wow. That's what my friend, this prophetic man, he kind of freaked me out. Of I said, that's right, the Holy Spirit. I, I don't, wait, Jesus had a face, you know. <laughs> But he called the Holy Spirit the faceless man. I said, whoa, okay, bro. That's... But let's be guided by the Holy Spirit. And so, speak to one another. In psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Why don't you? Why don't you? Speak to one another. The Word of God. In psalm hymns and sp spiritual spontaneous songs, speak to one another the word of God. In psalm hymns and spiritual spontaneous songs of the Holy Spirit, why don't you speak to one another the word of God by singing to each other? Psalms, hymns, and spiritual song. Offering praise, offering praise, singing and making melody. Making melody with your heart to the Lord. Come on. Making melody to with your heart to the Lord. The Amplified in 21, verse 20, says, Be subject to one another out of reverence for Christ. If you're revering the Lord, you're going to stop being so judgmental to your friends. Believers are not. But be subject to one another. Walk in humility because of the reverence that we have for Christ. And the Passion concludes, Don't get drunk with wine. Okay, we won't. The Passion calls it rebellion, which is rebellion. Don't get drunk with wine, which is rebellion. Instead, be filled continually with the Holy Spirit. And check this right here. And your hearts will overflow with a joyful song to the Lord. So keep speaking to each other the words of the Scripture. And this is how you do it. Paul said, I want you to sing the Psalms to one another. I want you to sing the hymns with praises and then wait for the spontaneous songs that will be given by the Holy Spirit right in the midst of your gathering. Whoa, that is powerful. Always giving thanks to Father God for every person he brings into your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 23 through 24, Carla. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is head of the wife, as also Christ is head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, 
so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. And the Spirit makes it possible to submit humbly to one another wow. out of respect for the Anointed One. Wow. Wives, it should be no different with your husbands. Submit to them as you do to the Lord. For God has given husbands a sacred duty to lead as the anointed leads the church and serves as the head. The church is his body. He is her savior. Wives, be subject to your own husbands as a service to the Lord. For the husband is head of the wife as Christ is head of the church himself being the savior of the body. But as the church is subject to Christ, so also wives should also be subject to their husbands in everything, respecting both their position as protector and their responsibility to God wow. as head of the house. So out of your reverence for Christ, be su supportive of each other wow. in love. For wives, this means being devoted to your husbands like you are tenderly devoted to our Lord. For the husband provides leadership for the wife, just as Christ provides leadership for his church. Wow. As the savior and reviver of the body, in the same way the church is devoted to Christ, let the wives be devoted to their husbands in everything. Yeah, I wanna just pause for a second. Years ago, certain denominations used the scripture to hammer the daylights out of women. The, the Lord's not for that. It's not your wife's a doormat. It doesn't say that. As a matter of fact, what I'm getting ready to read right now, if you're a husband, man, you got to be in prayer. Look at verse 25 and 26. Because husbands, after Paul speaks to the wives, and I love how he put it in the passion that, well, you're devoted to Jesus, the same devotion. I mean, with that energy of being devoted to the Lord, let's be supportive of each other in love. That is so good right there. But verse 25 and 26 puts it on the husbands this way. Love your wives. Get ready. Just as Christ also loved the church. Are you kidding? Uh, what? Just as Christ also loved the church and further gave himself for her as his bride. I went, wow. You got to be tall in the saddle to do that, buddy. So husbands, you heard verses 21 and 22, but he said, uh, this is what I'm telling you. Now I'm going to tell you, husbands, love your wives. I, I just, it's hard to even say out loud. Just as Christ also loved the church. Um, that's maximum. You got to be out there walking in the spirit to love as Christ also loved the church. Further, he gave himself for her. So there's no bashing women and wives and all that. I know a lot of people, uh, liberal people have brought it up and see that's where the scripture is wrong. No, we have reverence for Christ. And so we're supportive of each other in love. What are you guys doing? We don't want to know. Verse 26, because he would sanctify and cleanse the body of Christ, 